Okay, so we are going to be talking right now about Kim Kardashian giving a shout out in her reels. You know, she tagged it. I'll show you guys something on the craze page. It's Andy Mino like featuring Lecrae on that track, coming in hot. And there's been a lot of, you could say, you know, controversy in this space. And my whole thing with like Christianity, music, secular music, worldly music, music that worships God, Christian rap. What is my whole take behind that? Like, why even do this? And I believe there's a there's a lot of things that we can talk about, okay, when it comes to that. Recently, I haven't been listening to, like, Christian rap. I haven't been listening to any kind of worldly or secular music. That's the season I'm in in my life, okay? And there's people out there. I think about it. There's people out there that, hey, they get ministered because of the Christian rap. They're like, man, that's cool, man. That's dope, yo. Like, hip-hop, collaborating with Jesus and I guess there's a lot of intention behind it. Obviously, we're not out here, you know, as, as as believers, as followers of Christ, listening to things that are just cursing, saying things. It's like the intention, okay? And people believe in, like, if it's all the way to the very end to where people are, like, cursing and, and saying all these things, like, we shouldn't be listening to that. We need to focus on the things above, as it says in Colossians. And Philippians 4, it talks about whatever things are good, whatever things are noble, whatever things are pure, whatever things are just, whatever things are true, whatever things are of good report. So it's like, these are the things that are praiseworthy that we got to meditate on. So where is that line? And does Christian rap actually help? What do you guys think? What do you guys believe about Christian rap actually helping the cause? Okay. And I, I think about it all the time. Let me, I, I, I got to switch this up. What do you guys, what do you guys think about it? I think, I think Christian rap helps. I think it ministers to people that are in the space. To be honest, as I'm looking be, behind like what's going on and how the gospel is being preached and the time that we live in right now. Okay. W there's so much going in, in my mind when I think about, you know, left versus right versus, okay, Christian rap actually helps. It doesn't hip hop, R and B what's going on in the space. Okay. First off, I used to be the type of person and I got to be real with y'all. I used to be the type of person where it's like, yo, you are listening to demonic music. Okay. Anything that doesn't worship Jesus is demonic and you need deliverance. And I still believe that to a certain extent, like if you can still bop to, you know, that lustful music, you can still bop to the latest rap song and, uh, you know, doing all these things out there. We need some deliverance. I believe you're not, your mind needs to be renewed and God needs to really like y'all need Jesus is what I tell those people. And then we get those people that are literally all the way to like, you know what? I still worship Jesus. I can still sing one of those things like, oh, you are here, right? Moving in this place. I worship you. Like, that's the type of music. It's like, that's all. You can't, if it doesn't worship Jesus, you a demon and you need deliverance and you need to get out of the church. Like, there's levels to it. And I'm not going to, you know, I, I believe everybody has a different walk with Christ. They're in different seasons. But if we're out here persecuting the next brother or sister that's listening to the worldly things and telling them they're not good enough to be in the church of Jesus Christ, it's like, yo, you know, what? what, what where, where's the grace? Okay, where is the grace? Jesus came full of grace and full of truth. So, yeah, we got to share some truth. We got to let them know our brother and sister stumble. We help them pick up, pick them up. We lift them up in prayer. We show them the grace of God. But also we talk about the truth and say, hey, this is what the word says. There's some balance to it. You can't be filling yourself up with everything in this world, right? Because of, if you're a friend to this world, you're an enemy to God is what the word of God says. So where's the balance? And does Christian rap actually work? Does it minister to people? I think it takes the people that are in this world and they start bopping to this music. They're like, yo, that's that beat is dope, man. Like, who's the artist? And I saw that this this uh music, this song coming in hot. I was bopping to that thing. You know, like you guys can go back to my TikTok. One of the first videos was just me just like gigging to uh, coming in hot, like straight up. That was me. And I, I wanted to utilize what was cool. And kind of bring it to the world and say, hey, you know what? As, as, as like Christianity ain't boring. Following Jesus is not boring. We need to find different methods to be able to preach that message of Jesus Christ, right? Different methods. So I'm all for it. If every, anyone wants to know, I'm all for it. I'm down and bop into it. But when it comes to reverence and getting into the presence of God and wanting to hear from God, you're not going to see me saying, hey, I got this revelation listening to Christian rap in my car, listening to all this stuff. Like, no, nah, I had to get into the presence of God. Cause I'm not, am I going to deny that the presence of God comes? 
it's kind of hard to have the presence of God when you bop into that kind of music, right? Like, and that's just me. And when I, when I say bop in, you know, this, this slang term, it's like, yo, know, like gig into it, you know, like getting to the point where like, yeah, yeah. like I'm not going to be here, like giving people revelation saying, Hey, I was listening to coming in hot in my car and the spirit of God just fell fresh. And I'm going to prophesy this, or I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what God told me because of the, I, that, that's not going to be me. Okay, and we 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 got to be held accountable for these things as followers of Christ. We obviously we want to be used by God, but there is a balance of like literally going into your secret place or feeling and experiencing the presence of God. And I'm not talking about feelings or emotions or feelings through emotions. I'm saying that feeling that is from the spirit, literally crucifying the flesh, right? And saying, you know what, it might feel good because I'm bopping to this, but is that really from the flesh or from the soul or is it really from the spirit? Okay. So I had to share that. Um, and here's what, what, uh, Ecclesiastes say about this. What does Ecclesiastes say about songs of fools? Okay. This is Ecclesiastes chapter seven. It says this verse five, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the songs of fools. Okay. Interesting verse because people are like, well, show me, show me something about music and stuff. And there's going to be people all the way there. It's like RC, you know, there's people that are out there. RC, I still listen to Katy Perry and I listen to Hannah Montana and I listen to, you know, all these other people in this world, but I still serve Jesus. You can't come against me. But you, you know that that stuff brings depression. I still listen to Adele. I had literally a, a TikToker, right? She's got a big following. I don't care about the following. She come against me in one of my comments and she's like, bro, nah, I ain't going to, you know, you, 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 you can't say that a demon ain't going to come in me from listening to Adele. And then you know how many people liked that comment? More people liked that comment than liked my actual video. Okay. And I'm, I'm not here to compare likes. I'm just saying that there's people that are like, yeah, Adele is okay to listen to. When literally the spirit of suicide can come in, the spirit of loneliness can come in, the spirit of, I was going to say Jezebel, Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel can come in. Literally the spirit of depression can come in. You're opening up a door in the spiritual realm for these things. And Shante goes, yo, I remember that time. Yeah, this, this, this is like straight up facts. Okay. And he's like, Brad, nah, Adele can't. And I'm like, okay, that's going to be between you and God. And no wonder you're going to feel lonely later down the line. No wonder you're opening up doors that de demonic spirits can come into. And that's true. Like I listen to something that's r and I listen to something that's like C Breezy, Chris Breezy. And no wonder I'm feeling some sort of way. I feel lonely. I feel like, I feel like, yo, I need, I need this. I need that. And that's what the music does because what is the spirit? What is the spirit? How did they create that? Okay. And I'm about that. Some of y'all are like, nah, 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 nah. It's, it's, it's okay. You can listen to it. Moderation. And I, that's fine. You're the same type of person that says moderation with drinking or moderation with smoking. You know, that's between you and God. Okay. This is my beliefs. That's going to be between you and, and God and your conviction. Okay. So I have to share that. And my whole thing of saying this is because Kim K. Okay. She literally posted this and I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys right here. And it's in Lecrae's uh ig and you guys can go to andy minios andy minios ig but king k okay like look how many followers this woman has so this to me this is a breakthrough okay coming in hot featuring lecrae lecrae's like yo what's up and i heard you know this this song it's a good song this song had over 50 million streams on just spotify alone that's just on spotify you know how many people that reached and if you actually go to the verses, you actually read the verses, it does talk about the Lord. Okay. So Kim K to post that to her audience, obviously people know that she's attached to Kanye West and you look at this and obviously with what's going on with Kanye and Kim, that's between them and God. Okay. We're not in here to judge or talk about divorce and separation. Y'all can get, get into that. Cause there's some legalistic people that are like, well, that, you know, they're going to hell nah, 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 and yeah, all that stuff. I say, you know what? You can't be telling people in their salvation. That's between them and God. Okay. But Kim K even growing up, I, I, I don't think she's ever been on fire for Jesus. Like straight on. It's always been like, she's in and out of the church in and out. But for a breakthrough like that, for them to look up like, okay. And then you look it up all the Spotify, you look at all the searches. If you guys know anything about just the algorithm, how, how Spotify works and all these algorithms for all the different social medias, this is a big breakthrough for just Christianity and culture. When Christianity and culture are colliding, 
Okay. And I like to talk about it because I'm gonna go back to Romans 12 too. Everyone's like, yo, RC, I, you know, we can't, we can't be, we, we can't be approved by this world. Okay. Like we're not looking for validation in this world. And that's true. But if the gospel is being preached, if Jesus is being pushed out to the nations, are you going to slow down seeds being sent out? So this also gets people like, oh, yo, coming in hot. This is hot. And they, they be bumping it. Okay. They be gigging it. They be bumping in. And it's like, yo, this is literally how the gospel is being preached. I'm just, I'm praising God. Um, I'm honestly praising God with what's going on in the, in the Christian space. Okay. And I want to share this too, because Romans 12 to not being conformed to this world. So we see this, we see the future and what, what is it going to do? It's literally going to allow more people to look up Andy Minio. I'm sure he's getting a lot of, a lot of people on his eyes on his stuff and Lecrae, right? But also they're going to start looking at other playlists. They're literally going to be looking at other playlists. They're going to look at other artists, other Christian rappers. And there's this whole expansion that is going on. There is an expansion that is happening in the Christian space. Seeds are being planted. Okay. Seeds are being planted. This is like, a, this has to be a work of the Lord, whatever that is. I love it. I love everything that is going on. I love everything about it. Okay. So Romans 12, two, not being conformed to the world. And I looked up that word conform, not being conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind. Okay. That we may be able to prove what is that good, that acceptable and what that perfect will of God. And I'll just go to it just for y'all that want to see it. But this word conformed. Okay. I looked up this word conformed in the Greek. Being and do not be conformed to this world. This is literally Christianity and culture colliding. This is some good stuff. Okay, it's like it's like some heat, some friction coming in. People are starting to look, and people that look up to her, like people literally look up to this woman. She's just a, a regular person. Think about it. Kim K, just a regular person. God sees us all in the same eyes. God sees you, me, all of us in, in the same eyes. Okay. A ain't nothing. God is God, Jesus is on the throne. And we're just some people that God has breathed some life to. We are blessed to be breathing right now. Okay, so when people put these, obviously, celebrities on a pedestal and they have some, some they, they're being used for ministering tools to be able to say, hey, you know what? There's this whole opening right here. There's an opening of Christian rap, Christian R&B, Christian hip hop. And then they're going to start scrolling through the list and they're going to start looking at all these people. And there's, there's going to be these people. There's, there's a couple types of people here, okay, that are like, oh, Kim K, oh, you know what? Like, we got the the people that are kind of sour. Ooh, Kim K, you know, the Kardashians. Woo, yeah, Kardashians. Woo, Kardashian. Like, that's literally it. Oh, she's a Kardashian, and they already have this mindset. And then we got those other people. You guys can check the comments. We got some these other people in the comments that are like, yo, this is awesome. They see it like positive. You know, you see these positive people like this is a move of God. Praise the Lord. Right. So you got these people that are like, oh, it's Kim K. Wah, blant. And then you guys got these people that are like, yeah, praise God. Praise God. And you got these other these, these third type of person that's just like straight up hating. You know, like those haters that are just in every comment section that sees the negative out of every single situation. So you got these, these three groups of people that see it. People see it as blessings. People are like, ah, Kim K, that's cool. I'm neutral. Personally, I don't even follow Kim K. I don't really don't know much about her. I've never really followed her. Never really seen a lot of her stuff. Don't really know much, to be honest. Like no, no articles. I don't read that much stuff about her. Okay. But there's people that literally idolize her, her being able to post that. And it can go a long way. What people see as a small thing, RC, you're, you're, you're really big on this whole thing with just like reels and that she's posting and you're, you're making it seem like it's so big in this space. Sometimes the very small things that we see is really big in God's eyes. Okay. Sometimes we see something that we're stewarding that is so small in our eyes, but in God's eyes, it's big. It can do wonders. It can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask, think, or imagine. Right. As he says in Ephesians 3.20. I looked up this word conformed. It's like, yo, we cannot be conformed by this world. And what conformed means is not being influenced. Conformed means not being influenced by culture. Do not be conformed by this world. It means do not be influenced by the fashions, the trends, the things of this world. 
And there's this division in the body of Christ talking about, well, you got to stop focusing on the things of this world. You got to stop focusing on the treasures of this world, which is biblical. It's like our treasures are stored up in heaven. But we can't be black and white to the point where we're like all the way to one side and then we go all the way to the other. Like we're we're on totally the total to the left, totally to the right. Like we can't come to the point where scripture is supposed to interpret scripture. So you're telling me that the wealth of the unrighteous is not supposed to transfer to the righteous as it says in the book of Proverbs. It's like you're going to use, oh, you got to store your treasures in heaven, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else shall be added onto you. So. People will use verses to try to get, hey, this is why I believe it. And this is why you can't push the gospel, RC. This is why you can't talk about money, RC. This is why you can't talk about finances. This is why you can't talk about other artists. RC, why are you talking about secular artists? Why are you talking about like literally the media? Why are you literally lifting up the world? I'm like, yo, we can bi bring biblically sound doctrine. We're in 2021. Biblically sound doctrine. We could talk about the church of Corinth and how it was a, a point where people were literally going through. There's churches out there that are facing exactly what the church of Corinth was. And I can I could talk about all this stuff. How can we keep the Bible alive? How can we be obviously being able to minister to culture, but at the same time stay on the foundation of Jesus Christ? And this might not be your ministry. That's why I'm telling people this might not be your ministry. Everyone has a different ministry, everyone has a different way. But when people start to use verses to try to try to downplay the ministry God has placed in me, the ministry God has placed in other people, in these Christian artists, these Christian rappers, we start to become blind and think one-sided about it. We this is where literally the religious folks they put God in a box. They think, they say this is how exactly how it's gotta be, and I say you know what I gotta pray about this. And I used to be so one-sided to say, dude, Christian rap is evil. I can't believe all this wickedness, all these demons that are being unleashed out of these Christian rappers. And Lecrae got a lot of push back from society because he was speaking out his things on like the whole Trayvon Martin and going against conservative viewpoints and all this stuff. He got a lot of hate in the space because it's like, well, you're backing up people that have values and morals that are against Christian faith and belief. So he's got a lot, of, just this last year, he's got a lot, but are these people being used? I believe it. I believe it no matter what God is in control if we allow him to be in our lives. Obviously, we all have, okay, a free will. That's why it talks about it here, that perfect will of God to but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God, okay? And I think it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful to just see people that literally take the calling, take the perfect will will of God and establish it into their lives. Okay, so what do you guys think about this? Okay, this whole Kim K movement, is God being glorified? Is it planting seeds? Did it start to have, obviously, it's a, it's a transfer. People pay Kim K hundreds of thousands of dollars for a post. Like for these big brand deals for her to endorse these products because she has so much influence in the space. And to get this type of eyes on Christian rappers, they go onto Spotify, they look up more, and they're looking at all these other Christian rappers, and somebody's going to be used to be able to minister to those people like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling this music. I didn't know Christian. They, they always thought it was just like, oh, yeah, you know, you hear moving in this place. It's like people aren't vibing with that, but they're in a different season. They're obviously against God, but how can we reach these souls and if it's not me that's going to reach this soul, who is God going to use to reach that soul? Because you know their heart is pure. Their heart might be open. And it could be any Christian rapper in the space that God will use to turn them. And then they, later down the line, their heart gets softened. They start to know more of the truth because they're seeking the truth. And they're starting to get set free. Their mind is being renewed day by day. And it was because of that one post that Kim K did that allowed them to search for more music. It might have been from Andy Mineo. It might have been from Lecrae. It might have been from all these other Christian rappers out there. And later down the line, they're like, you know what? Christianity is kind of cool. Let me go down to, uh, like, let me find a church in my city now. Let me ask my Christian friend if they know who Lecrae is because this is dope. I'm telling y'all, 
can be used, but we're out here as Christians, right? Trying to tear down everybody, trying to look at the speck in every brother and sister's eye and tear down their plank. And it's interesting because I'm talking about discerning that preacher. A lot of what I do in that space, unless I know they're a false prophet, I will not call them that. And there's people that are so like snipered in, like false prophet, shut them down, heretic, like literally destroying the ministries that might be from God. God used donkeys, God used Pharaoh, God used anybody to literally utilize it for his glory. He even used a whale, had to eat up Jonah. Like he'll use anything. What makes you think you understand all of God's plan? Yes, there's going to be all these things where it's like, but God showed me this, or this is what this is what the word of God said. And that's fine. Back it up biblically, but don't focus on the challenge. Don't focus on what those people are doing. Focus on Jesus. Focus on the living God. All right. Give me what you guys think about that. I think it's an interesting topic. I believe that God is going to allow his name to be glorified either way. And as long as we pray for these people, we stay prayed up and we support the ministry. Hey, if he's got Jesus in it, this song has got Jesus coming in hot, right? This song has got Jesus in it. I'm about it. I think God's going to be glorified. And I truly believe, I truly believe that God is sending up. He's doing something. He's stirring things up and more people are going to come to Christ because of what's going on and what we see from culture versus what's happening in the Christian space. Yeah.